we're in this big shift right now where the entertainment economy is pivoting itself. The barriers to entry have dropped. I'm very excited. I'm hopeful. The old ship needs to burn down because we got a very new, exciting time. It's never been easier to get your stuff out there, to make stuff, to put it out there, but yeah, it's never been harder to kind of like make a living at it and have help. So you have more stuff and yet often less stuff registers. So the, the ability to find maybe smaller audiences, but much more loyal, engaged, and passionate audiences will become, will become critical. How do we build these communities and build these followings so that the critical mass becomes great enough so that a filmmaker can have a long career? And when I look at Veronica Mars, the majority of people who talked about it who had been backers referred to it as our movie. They didn't say, I hope you'll go see this movie that I funded. They said, this is my movie. I you know, wanted it made for seven years. I helped them get it made. You know, if there's a dialogue happening. It's not just a sort of monodirectional sort of feed of information being continuously surrounded by screens. You know, it's an extension of wanting to have the story with you at all times. Everything else in our lives, we're being trained to get things on demand or at least be able to order things immediately, except in the film business. When will the marketplace transform itself to match how people actually behave? We're gonna have to constantly shift, evolve, and adjust. I could care less if someone watches my movie in a movie theater, on their iPad, on their phone. As long as they watch it, they pay for it, and they're enjoying it, so they'll want to come back and see another movie. It's up to all of us to determine how we will reinvent Hollywood.